The Air Jordan 34, Jordan Brand's latest release in performance sneakers, with its first colorway releasing on September 25th, titled Blue Void. This, however, is the second colorway released for Jordan Brand in October, and it is known as the iconic Air Jordan 34 Bread, which is the white, black, and red colorway we've all come to know. You will notice some very traditional features on any Jordan sneakers, such as the Jumpman on the tongue and Nike Air on the back. However, Jordan Brand took a very higher tech approach to this sneaker, making sure that it is the lightest, or at least one of the lightest sneakers known to date from this brand. They truly stripped away a a lot of the excess materials and everything they thought not necessary to allow the athlete to feel as light as possible on the court. Hopefully you guys enjoy the short review on the Air Jordan 34 bread grade school. Today let's take a look at the brand new Air Jordan 34. Talks with TJ, aka TJ Two Shoes Change, Two Shoes Crew. What is going on? So, thank you for joining me today. And I wasn't, I didn't really have plans initially to make this video, but I thought, why not? Because, hey, it is new tech, and I actually happen to be a fan of innovation, whether it be Nike or Jordan brand. So, I wanted to jump right into the Air Jordan 34. And I know you all have seen this sneaker, whether it's pictures advertisements on Instagram, by sneaker news, whatever it may be, however you get your sneaker news. I know that you've seen this shoe, but I don't know if you've actually seen a grade school pair on foot, so I thought I would go ahead and show you guys that, and that's exactly what you got before we have jumped ahead to this part. So thank you so much for tuning in to this video. Uh, if you're not subscribed, make sure you go ahead and hit the subscribe button while you're at it. You might as well just follow all the other rules down below for the 5K giveaway. So close, and once I hit that, I can go ahead and pick my three winners and then make sure that I get all the information I need from you to get your gifts shipped off. The Air Jordan 34, you know what? Bravo to Jordan brand for really innovating. Now I thought they tried to go a totally different route with the 33, but once they got feedback from a lot of athletes of theirs, you know what the number one thing? Please make this shoe lighter. And that's exactly what they did and that's what they focused on. So it's a more really toned down version of a sneaker in the sense that they tried to take away everything that was unnecessary to make the sneaker as light as possible. It's one of the lightest Air Jordans that have ever been made for real on the court use and performance. That is an amazingly important thing for an athlete. If you look at what Nike does, no matter what, they're always trying to make, they're always trying to incorporate, you know, some type of material that will lighten the shoe. They started to do that with Fly and they incorporating it into, you know, whether it were the shoes that Draymond wore or Kobe's, and then they redid the entire Air Force One and it got an entire Fly Knit makeover. So why not take that same approach with the Air Jordan 34, but it's not fly knit. They just simply really stripped apart everything on the upper of a sneaker that's unnecessary for the players in the court. And I think that's a great thing. You want to feel like you can fly. Now we all know we're not going to be Jordan or even Zion soaring through the air and throwing down monstrous dunks. Some of us are just small and we got to deal with that and take the Steph Curry approach and shoot our shot. But for those that are using this on the court, I think you will find it very light. Trying this sneaker on, so you guys got to see the on foot. So trying this on, it's a, it's really comfortable in the forefront of the shoe. So the toe box area has plenty of space. It feels light, it feels comfortable. However, this is my only caveat, but I don't know if this has something to do with just the way my feet are shaped or maybe just in general. So if you've tried on the 34, you can let me know in the comment section below how you feel. But on that back part, as it starts to curve into uh, the instep of your foot, it, it feels like if you were to 
cut and have like cut to the side with a lot of your weight either on your ankles or on your hips because that's usually where the power comes from to shift and cross over it's really in your hips don't use your ankles i'm just gonna say that steph curry had to learn that when you do that i feel like it may dig into the side of your foot and then also if you're somebody that wears ankle braces because it does narrow going to the back so if you see the shoe it does narrow going down how will that affect the fit i don't know outside of that little issue there kind of asterisk for me i absolutely love the shoe and yes athletes wanted a shoe that looked good on court that looked good off the court i think jordan brand has really hit it on the head with this that white black and red we know it's an iconic colorway but for a lot of what some think of as i'm not gonna say this is team jordan but anything past like a 23 or anything past the 14s of what jordan played in a lot of people are like no i don't want to wear it I don't care what colorway you put on it, but this is a great shoe on and off the court. You can style this to wear casually. And with so many colorways coming out, I think this shoe will do well now for uh, Zion. We know that he is the you know golden child. He is really the face of this shoe, along with a lot of the other athletes that they have. But I think Zion, we know, will be the focal point. And I think if they release some really dope colorways, you know, in relation to him, I think they could do well, especially for his actual New Orleans team. Like, I think they could do well, especially if you put that uh, that navy blue in there and that yellow. I think they could do really well. MJ Dan said that they should really just go ahead and capitalize off that. I don't blame them. If you guys want to kind of get a full look at uh, NBA player and their thoughts on this, you can make sure to check out Jumpman Bostick's page. He did an entire sit down interview in collaboration with Jordan Brand and Foot Locker with Blake Griffin. So go ahead, check that out. I don't really have to direct you to where to find Jumpman Bostic. The man's a legend. I'm pretty sure you know where to find him on IG or on YouTube, but I really enjoy being able to see that. And I mean, is that not goals to be able to sit there and interview Blake Griffin and be able to really step foot into the Jordan, the latest Jordan that's come out. And I mean, yeah, I gifted a pair of 34s. Trust me, after trying them on, it's still a shoe that I would wear. I just would probably need to see, does it take some breaking in because of the way that it's structured? Again, that part I'm not sure about, but Jordan did exactly what it set out to do. It's a very light shoe. It is way lighter than the 33 because I've tried on the 33. It's lighter than all of the other retros that we're used to wearing, whether it's the one, five, seven, six, I don't care, take your pick, but it's lighter than all of those. Big fan, so congratulations Jordan Brand on this. So if you are interested in getting this for your kids or even yourself and you wear a smaller grade school size, you can see now what it looks like in hand, on foot. I hope that this serves you well and thank you so much for tuning in. Peace out.